Hello everyone, this is the next video in the Java Full Stack Developer video series. In this video, we will learn about web architecture and set up the MySQL database. Now let's get started. As you know, to access a web page, we need a browser like this. Then we need to navigate to a URL at which point the browser will connect to a web server via the internet. The web server will access the database as needed to retrieve the necessary data for the web server to return the result to the browser. This is the basic picture of how a system works. Of course, in reality, it is more complex, but this is the more basic overview. As you can see here, both of these may be called backend. As you can see, the browser here can be considered the front end, a term used for developers. The front end not only includes the browser, but can also be mobile application or any type of display that connects to a server over the internet. The backend consists of a server running a program capable of serving the browser, the data it needs, and a database management system containing the data that needs to be stored. In this tutorial, we will use Java to run on the server, and for database management system, we will use MySQL. Next, we will install MySQL on our machine. I will demonstrate the installation on my Mac. The process is almost the same for Windows or Linux, with only minor differences. If you encounter any issues, feel free to ask in the comments section. Now, before you can install the MySQL, you need to download some software from the internet. We need to install two programs, MySQL Community and MySQL Workbench. First is the MySQL Community, which you can download by searching for MySQL Community Download on Google, like this. MySQL Community Download. And you can click on this link. So it works you here. At here, you can choose the version of the software. This version is the latest. You can choose this. And you can select the operating system. For me, I choose macOS. And, uh, it's, and for you, it is depend on your system. You can choose Ubuntu or you can choose the window. And for the macOS, because we have two versions of the OS, one for the ARM CPU and one uh, for the Intel CPU, so uh, you can uh, choose one of them, depend on your your machine, or you can choose all, okay? And you can click download on the link here. For me, I can click on this uh, version of downloading. And after downloading, you can click on the download folder and you can go all right click here on myql to install hello click continue let's continue agree and let's continue install for security i need to enter my uh, password for this machine You can see uh, it needs me to input the password for the root user. The root user is the, uh, the it is the username uh, that we use to connect to the to the database. And here we can put the password for it. I will put the password from uh, one to eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and click finish. And you can see. Uh, Make sure to check 
start my AQL server once the installation is complete here. Alright, click finish. Oh. Okay, close. Uh, after installation is complete, we will install MyQL Workbench to interact with the MyQL database. First, you need to download the MyQL Workbench. It's the same download the MyQL, MyQL community. You can uh, search on the Google for MyQL Workbench and click on the link and uh, go to this page and choose the operating system and choose our version and click download here and after you download you can click on the file to install here you can uh, drag the, uh, the software into application all right after you do that the make your workbench will be the application of your system all right now you need to make sure that the MyQL uh, that your MyQL community is running on your machine. To do so, on macOS you can go to uh, System Setting and scroll down to MyQL here. Click on it and check the activity instance and the installation instance is blue. Uh, it green. Sorry. And the button here is stop make your server. It means the make your server is running now. If it's not is running, you can click on the stack make your server here. I think it's not difficult on uh, the other system like Windows or Linux. Okay, now we we need to open the make your workbench to interact with the database or to take a first look on that program. The first one you open uh, make your workbench uh, it will look like this. And to create a connection to the MyQL server you can click on the button plus here to create a connection. For here you can see some configuration like the host name and the port and the username uh, which you uh, you saw in the configuration of uh, the make your community installation you need to create a connection name here maybe you can uh, create text database all right sorry text database click ok uh, click on this to open a connection on make your workbench to the database and it needs you to uh, input the password. The password is also in the previous configuration on the MyQL community installation. Uh, for me, I will input 1 to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And maybe save the password in the keychain for uh, convenience later. Alright? So here we can work on the Query tab on the MyQL workbench. Alright, that's the end of this video. Thank you and see you in the next one.